Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm going to be reviewing the French language course from Pimsleur. I'll cover how the Pimsleur program is organized, what the lessons are all about, subscription options, pricing, and of course, what I like and what I don't like. So if you're ready, let's hit it. Okay, welcome back. I should mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on the major highlights and lowlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Pimsleur French Review. That's the quickest way to find it. All right, so first up here, let's cover how the Pimsleur French program is organized and what their lessons are like. So starting from the top, there are various levels to complete within the course, each increasing in complexity and difficulty, sort of building from the newcomer level up to advanced. And within each of these levels, there are around 30 full-length lessons to complete, each of which is comprised of multiple parts, which I'll talk about in more detail here in a second. But really, that's it from a high level. It's a fairly basic structure in terms of how the course is organized. So with that in mind, let's dive into what the lessons themselves are actually like. So to begin each lesson, you complete a 30-minute audio exercise in which a moderator speaking in English gradually guides you through a simulated French conversation. You listen to a short exchange between two fluent French speakers, then the moderator will stop to explain what you're hearing, provide some insights and tips, and then finally ask you questions in order to have you engage and participate. So really think of this exercise as a supportive guided conversation. That's the best way to describe it. And as you advance through the levels, the moderator will slowly start speaking less English as you become more fluent in French, forcing you to rely on what you've learned. And then following the audio lesson, you review what you just learned through an array of drills and exercises. This includes short reading drills, flashcards, quizzes, pronunciation training, and speed games, just to name a few. Each drill or exercise takes maybe three to eight minutes to complete, so in total, with a half dozen or so of these drills, you're looking at around an hour to complete the full Pimsleur lesson. That is, the audio portion plus all the reinforcement drills. And the cool thing with Pimsleur is that you can skip round from lesson to lesson or even level to level if you want. You're not forced to follow a strict agenda like with other apps that we reviewed. Plus, as you complete each lesson, you gain these skills badges, which help you keep track of what you've learned. And that's about it in terms of how the course works and what the lessons look like. And I know I covered that really fast, so if you do want to see some more info or take a deeper dive, be sure to check out that full detailed written review that I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have way more detail, including screenshots and examples over there, so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so now that you have that overview, let's quickly touch on pricing and subscription options. Pimsleur offers two different plans. The first is the Pimsleur Premium, which gives you access to their French course for $20 per month. And the second is Pimsleur All Access, which unlocks all 50 of their languages for $1 more per month, i.e. $21 a month. Now, if you stack this up against competitors like Babbel, Busu, or Rosetta Stone, Pimsleur is more expensive by around $5 to $10 per month on average. So definitely not the cheapest French program on the market, but also not outrageous either. And in fact, if you're learning with a spouse, family member, or friend, which a lot of people do, you can actually account split with Pimsleur, effectively making the price $10 per month, which is right in line with competitors and super reasonable. And it's definitely worth mentioning that Pimsleur does offer a seven day free trial period, so you can always try this program out and see if you like it before taking the plunge, which is pretty nice. Not all apps out there do this. I'll have a link to that free trial signup down below in the description if you wanna check that out. I'd personally suggest at least kicking the tires on this app before diving right in and buying. And by the way, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest and helpful videos, all totally free. So if Pimsleur does end up being a good fit for you, we'd really appreciate it if you use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and it allows us to keep creating these types of helpful language learning review videos. And if it turns out that Pimsleur isn't a great fit for you, it's no worries at all. I just wanna make sure that you get matched up with the right program that's a good fit for your needs. And we have a ton of other helpful review videos that you can check out. All right, so now that we've covered pricing, program structure, and you know what the lessons are all about, let's get into what I like and what I don't like about Pimsleur French after testing this program. And like always, let's start with the positives. Number one, I'm a big fan of the Pimsleur learning framework and how their lessons prepare you to hold conversations. And this really starts with the Pimsleur audio lessons. I like that instead of listening to and repeating individual words and phrases like you do with other French language learning apps on the market, the Pimsleur audio lessons are more practical and comprehensive. Their interactive lessons prompt you to respond to fluent French speakers using words, phrases, and sentences in the context of a detailed mock conversation. You're actively involved in tracking the conversation since you need to understand the situation and respond at the proper times when the moderator calls on you. In my opinion, this active participation is powerful getting you to recall and use the French language under pressure just like you would in real life situations. That's the important point here. You're getting simulated real world experience with Pimsleur, which in my opinion is about the best practice when attempting to learn French. 
Okay, so number two, and this somewhat piggybacks on my last point. I think the Pimsleur French course is ideal for all learning levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And I really say that because Pimsleur has that conversational speaking component that I just covered. With other language companies out there like Rosetta Stone and Duolingo, for example, their lessons primarily revolve around vocabulary, quick hit drills, and repeating words and phrases in a vacuum. There's really no opportunity for spontaneous language usage that mimics or simulates full conversations like you get with Pimsleur. So overall, I have to give Pimsleur two big thumbs up if your main goal is to pick up the language quickly and start having basic conversations in French. Okay, so reason number three. Because the core Pimsleur lessons are audio-based, I like the fact that you can complete these lessons while you're working out, cleaning your house, taking your dog for a walk, whatever. Just nice, you don't have to be fixed your computer screen or phone at all times like you do with other apps on the market. I think I can speak for most people here when I say that when you're studying, sometimes it's just nice to switch things up and get a change of scenery to break up the monotony. And the Pimsleur lessons definitely allow for that. Their mobile app even has a special driving mode so you can learn and knock out lessons while you're on the road. So overall, the flexibility of the Pimsleur lessons definitely deserves a special call out. And last up here, number four, I was really impressed with the Pimsleur digital platform and user experience across both the desktop and mobile app. It has a modern feel and is very quick and everything's laid out in a really intuitive way. It's just super sleek, easy to use, and it's easy on your eyes. In fact, I think it's one of the best digital interfaces in the entire language learning industry, right up there with Babbel and Duolingo. Okay, so let's switch sides now and talk about the things that I don't like about Pimsleur French. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Testbrip Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win yourself a free subscription to Pimsleur French. All right, back to those negatives. And number one, while I am a fan of the audio lessons that form the backbone of the Pimsleur learning framework, there are a couple negatives as well. The first being that the lessons are somewhat lengthy. With the full lesson, audio portion, and follow-up exercises taking a full hour to complete, they're some of the longer lessons that I've seen. Of course, you can always pause the lesson and return to it later if you don't have a full hour to complete one, but if you want to complete full lessons in a straight go when you're kind of limited for time, maybe you're just looking for quick hit 10 or 15 minute lessons, then Pimsleur might not be a great fit. Plus, this is the other part, the lessons just move a little slowly. Yes, the moderator does keep you engaged by asking you questions and quizzing you, but around the 20 minute mark of each audio lesson, my mind did start to wander a little bit. I personally think it would just be nice if Pimsleur would maybe mix in one or two quick hit drills or even rapid fire verbal exercises during the middle of the audio lessons just to switch things up and add a little diversity. Okay, number two. While I like that Pimsleur places a heavy emphasis on output, meaning actually speaking and talking, the company doesn't utilize any voice recognition technology like Babbel or Rocket French. So while you're practicing your verbal skills during the audio lessons, there's no technology in the background analyzing your pronunciation. So for all you know, you might be pronouncing some words incorrectly. Now, to be fair, the moderator and the fluent French speakers within the lessons repeat themselves multiple times, so the chances of you mispronouncing words over and over and over again are slim, plus it's not like the voice recognition technology that the other companies use are perfect anyways. They definitely have flaws at the end of the day too. All right, so last up here, number three. Since the core Pimsleur lessons are rooted in audio-based practice, they might not be the best option for visual learners. Besides the drills following the core audio lessons, there's really no opportunity for you to see or read the words or phrases that you're learning, which might be an issue for some types of learners. Plus, the Pimsleur French lessons are light on images, video, and other graphics. Instead, the Pimsleur lessons tend to rely more on mental imagery than visual imagery. You're asked to imagine these scenarios and situations and then learn words and phrases in the context of these situations being played out in your head. So it's sort of the same concept, but just in a different way. Ultimately, this comes down to what type of learner you are and whether you need a bunch of graphics to help you learn the material. Anyway, that about wraps up this review, so let's get to my final verdict. All in all, I'm a big fan of the Pimsleur French course. I think the learning framework that forms the backbone of the program is highly effective. I love the audio lessons that simulate real French conversations and the fact that it gets you to participate quickly by recalling words and phrases under pressure. Also, the drills and exercises that follow the audio lessons are pretty engaging and do a good job of helping the material sink in. Plus, the Pimsleur digital platform is super modern and easy to use. There's just a lot to like here. Sure, I do have a few minor gripes with their program, like the lessons being a little long and the lack of speech recognition technology, but all things considered, I think Pimsleur is a highly effective program that should get the job done for pretty much anyone looking to learn French and start holding conversations. Plus, at around $20 per month, I think Pimsleur is a pretty decent value. So bottom line, I have no problem recommending Pimsleur French. Their course and overall program received very high marks from our team. 
Anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written guide that I mentioned earlier in this video, hop on over to our website, testpreppinsight.com, and check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great language content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.